What's going on guys? Psycho Killer here. Today is Tuesday. It is time for a new event week in Red Dead Online. Uh, last event week was two weeks long, so we expected, we, I didn't, but a lot of people expected some sort of DLC today, or at least an announcement, but it seems that uh, Rockstar has not dropped any announcement of a DLC. Um, not only have they not dropped any announcement of a DLC, but this event week is going to be a month long. This event week does run from the 7th of December. 2021 through the 5th of January, my birthday, 2022. I'll be 32 years old. Uh, that being said, uh, let's not waste any more time. We're going to get into the video. We're going to talk about the event week and what this could or could not mean for the future of Red Dead Online. So uh, hit it. Oh shit, here we go again. So my dudes, the weekly collection this week is the Tooth and Nail collection. This collection does consist of a legendary bear tooth, a legendary coyote fang, and a badger claw. You can sell this collection for $65. I say normally don't worry about the weekly collections because they consist of collectibles. And when you sell full collections that aren't the weekly collection, it's worth quite a bit more money. However, this week, the collection does not consist of any collectibles at all. Uh, it's just legendary animal pieces that aren't used for very much in the trader role or for anything else. So I would say if you come across these things, the badgers, the legendary bears or legendary coyotes, absolutely save those up, sell those collectibles, sell those collections to Madame Nazar for $65 a piece. Uh, furthermore, starting next week, December 14th, the snow, the Christmas decorations, all the Yuletide stuff does start in Red Dead Online. Uh, that being said, with the snow, the weather does get colder, so make sure you guys are dressed appropriately. Uh, it gets pretty cold out there, and you can quickly find your course draining because you're cold and uh, dying. Furthermore, uh, December 14th through January 5th, all of the rank locks will be removed from purchasing the double barrel shotgun. The reason they're doing this is so that everybody, to include the lower level players, are able to purchase the Krampus variant of the double barrel shotgun. Uh, again, this is Rockstar Games catering to the new players. They want them to spend more money in the game. Uh, we do have two times cash and XP on all call to arms, bounty missions, trader and moonshine sales. So for cash, this is an amazing event week. I mean, trader and moonshine as well as call to arms and bounty missions. So that's your two main sources of income as well as the two things that most people use to fill the buffer space between your trader and moonshine filling up. Everything getting double cash and XP. So I would definitely spend some time doing those things this week. From December 21st through January 5th, we will have some seasonal call arms maps. These maps are going to be Coulter, um, Hanging Dog Roads, and Emerald Ranch. Um, you can get these telegrams from your lockbox or any post office around the map. Anytime, like I said, between December 21st and January 5th. Uh, with these call to arms maps, not only are you going to be being attacked by enemies, but you're also going to be getting attacked by cougars, wolves, and bears. So make sure you plan your loadout accordingly. Uh, in addition to that, not only will you be getting attacked by these animals, but they will also be sending in trains of friendly reinforcements. So with the added danger of the animals, you do get a little bit more reinforcements. I don't know how frequently they'll drop. We will definitely check that out next week and see what it looks like. Uh, we do have three times cash and XP as well as two times gold in some of these showdown modes. Uh, it's going to be make it count as well as last stand. So definitely check those out. And in addition to that, if those really aren't your cup of tea, you do have two times cash, XP, and gold bars on the gun rush, gun rush teams, spoils of war, up in smoke, and the overrun showdown modes. Um, if you visit any saloon and order a drink over the next month, you will receive the good to see ya emote absolutely free for login unlocks. If you play between December 14th and the 25th, you'll receive 25 capitale and a free accessory. If you play between December 14th and the 29th, you will receive the free winter Evans repeater variant. And if you log in between December 26th and January 5th, you'll receive 10 sticks of volatile dynamite, 20 fire arrows, a free weight loss tonic, 
and a reward to clear the bounties in all of your states. Uh, between December 28th and January 5th, you'll uh, get bonuses. If you deliver player bounties alive, you'll receive 2,000 Bounty Hunter XP. If you deliver them dead, you will receive $200. If you deliver any legendary or infamous bounties, you'll receive two Hawkmoth Bolas. The way the Newswire states it, it sounds like these rewards are going to be every single time. And if you log in between December 28th and January 5th, you'll receive a free winter shotgun coat. Um, over the whole month, we do have discounts. We got five gold bars off of the bounty license, 50% off of all bolas to include the special variants. We have 40% off of any novice promising and established bounty hunter items. Roll weapon variants, Breton horses, sniper rifles, and single bandoliers. And we also have 30% off the bounty hunter wagon and ammo. So that's the discounts and bonuses over the next month. So what does this mean for Red Dead Online? Why are they doing this a month long? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? And that's the problem. We really don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, my thought process is this. I think it's a test. Uh, the holiday season is the time of year that not a lot of people really get on the games uh, because they're spending time with family, going to dinners and get-togethers and stuff. I myself have one Saturday night. Um, I think they're trying to see how many people they can really get in. So they give us all these awesome bonuses to try to keep people logging in and spending money. But in addition to that, I think that if they don't get the turnout that they want, uh, not just the the income that they want from gold bars, but also the amount of people playing the game. I think we could honestly be seeing the end of major support in Red Dead Online. Uh, I know just a year ago, Rockstar was talking about all these amazing things they want to do with Red Dead Online, but we haven't seen any of it. Uh, everybody wants properties and everybody wants to go to Mexico and Guarma and all of that. But Dirty, Dirty Tyler dropped a video uh, this week. And he, he made a really good point. Uh, Take-Two Interactive is all about the money. And not enough people are spending money on gold bars. Uh, because most of us have all of this money and all of these gold bars stacked up. But we have nothing to spend it on. So there's a couple things they could do to counter this. You know, They could give us more things to spend money and gold bars on. And they could also make it possible for us to gift gold bars to our friends. Say it's their birthday or Christmas. And... You know, say myself as a content creator want to do a giveaway of gold bars for Red Dead Online. If they make that something we can do, then they might see more income from the game. Uh, I do know for a fact that the bigger YouTubers like Dirty Tyler, Austin BMX, Only PvP Cat, those guys love to do giveaways. And this would definitely be an avenue of giveaway that I could see every single one of those guys doing. I myself would be doing it if it was something we could do. Uh, but it's not. And I, I just don't understand why that's not a feature Rockstar's try to find out a way to add. I mean, it would be really simple to add it to the social club or even to their launcher. It's something that could be done that would make the game maybe more enjoyable for some people, but definitely more profitable for them. Again, I think that this month-long event week is to keep people coming to the game in a busy time of the year, but also to see what kind of turnout they're going to get. Um, I also think it's a sign of, hey, here's a month event week. Now we don't have to mess with it for a month. So I don't know. We're only good. Only way we can know is if we wait and find out what actually happens. Um, I like the idea of knowing what's coming over the next month, but I also know that these guys they they're acting like they just want to leave red dead alone they don't want to mess with it no more and that's what this looks like right here i mean this event week it's a great event week and i do have the feeling that if it's something they stop providing support on uh we would be left with something big like this um that way maybe they have the opportunity to come back to it later but probably not so what does this mean for Rockstar Games? Well, it means that they sent people to grocery games to help fix the mess that is the Grand Theft Auto trilogy because Rockstar puts all of their stock in GTA. Uh, I get them putting their stock into GTA Online. It's what made them who they are. It's their flagship game. I get that. But a trilogy, man, they should have taken their time on the trilogy, got it right the first time, and then never mentioned it again. That way, those of us who are playing it could just have the nostalgia of playing it. Uh, the same games we played when we were kids, only with better graphics and a little bit of quality of life control updates. But instead, 
they had to rush it and now they're putting extra resources over there i do not think we're getting a winter dlc in red dead online uh, we might get a spring one but it's if we do it's it's not going to be much um stay tuned we'll find out what's going on with gta online next tuesday when the event week drops fingers crossed we get some news this week about a dlc otherwise i'll have a blue anyways let me know what you guys think this means in the comments section down below are you happy about the month-long event week and what do you think that means for rockstar games in the future of red dead online i would love to hear from you guys again let me know in the comments section down below uh sorry this video was a little bit under the weather i mean okay one i just woke up and uh two it kind of bums me out a little bit to to feel you know hear the things that i've been hearing from the youtube side of the red dead community over the last week and then to see this event week this morning so uh it's kind of saddening and hopefully my you know my somber tone is all for naught uh, if you guys are new around here, consider subscribing, turn your post notifications on. That way you get notified anytime I upload videos or go live. Um, if the video is helpful or enjoyable at all, make sure you smash the like button. And uh, yeah, as always, my dudes, I will see you on the flip side. Hopefully, anyways.